Hi, this is David Harper, the Bionic Turtle. I want to briefly illustrate an Asian option, which is a type of exotic option. In order to understand the Asian option, we can compare it to a regular plain vanilla option, in this case, a European call option. Recall a feature of the European call option is the strike price, denoted here by K. If we're the holder of a regular plain vanilla option, we hope to see the stock price increase and rise above the strike price so that we can exercise the European call option at expiration. Remember that's the only time we can exercise the European call option is at expiration. We'll call that time T2. And we profit or our payoff is the difference between the spot price of the asset on that exercise date, that's S here, and the strike price. And so in a plain vanilla option, we use the spot price at the time of exercise. And you can see one disadvantage of this is we're exposed to the temporal volatility of that spot price. For example, if this weren't a stock, but we're using the option to hedge against a foreign exchange rate. And so the path here is the foreign exchange rate. The option, the value of the option is very much dependent on the particular volatility or daily outcome of that foreign exchange rate. We may not want to be so exposed to the volatility and this is where the Asian option helps. And there are eight different variations of the Asian option but consider an average price call. This time everything's the same except that as the holder of the European average price call, which is a form of Asian option, now when we exercise, it's not the difference between the spot price and the strike price, but rather the average spot price and the strike price. So now we look back here to the path, so the Asian option is path dependent, to find the average value of the spot asset and the difference between that and the strike price is the payoff. So immediately there's two benefits to this. One is that because we're going to use an average of the spot price instead of the point in time value, this Asian option is going to be less volatile than a typical plain vanilla option. Less volatility means this will have less value and it will cost us less to purchase the Asian option. The Asian option has a lower premium. Secondly, owing to this smooth averaging effect, it's easier to delta hedge the option. In fact, as the option approaches expiration or as the matur maturity shortens, the delta on the option approaches zero, so it's easier to delta hedge the Asian option. Notice the average value here is arithmetic, so instead of the spot price, we're using the arithmetic average of the spot price over the holding period, but we could also use a geometric average if we want. So this is an average price call. We also could have an average strike call. In this case, instead of averaging the spot price at exercise, we can average the strike price. And so instead of a fixed strike price, in the case of an average strike call, again a type of Asian option, the payoff is the spot price of the asset at that point in time minus not a fixed strike price but rather looking back to the average spot price of the asset over the holding period. So you can see here we're still averaging but this time it's averaging the exercise price. So that shows average price call and average strike call and as you would expect we can have an Asian option that's a put and we can have an average price put which at exercise uses the average price of the spot price of the asset so it, but instead of a call it's for a put and we can also have an average 
strike put where the stock price is fixed or the spot price is fixed but we take an average of this price path to get the strike price and so the payoff for an average strike put just for example here is going to be the maximum of zero and the average of this stock or spot price here minus the spot price here at expiration so we're smoothing the strike price and so we can kind of get a sense for the eight different variations here on the Asian option and those variations are recall we had two types of Asian call options that is one type of call option where we average the price and the other where we average the strike price so we had either an average price call or an average strike call and then similarly we have two types of puts the average price put where we average the price or the average strike put where we average the strike so that's two types of calls and two types of puts for four types of Asians and then finally we could average either arithmetically as shown here or geometrically so two ways to average so that's for the four combinations we have actually eight combinations because there's two ways to average this is David Harper the Bionic Turtle thanks for your time